Hey guys, what's up? It's Haley and welcome to today's vlog. So before we get started, this was my favorite answer from last week's question of the week, which was what is your favorite superhero? And make sure to stay tuned to the end of this week's video to figure out what the question of the week is this week. In today's video, it is actually time for Libby and Miss Canada to get their feet done. So for those of you who don't own horses, every six weeks a farrier is supposed to come out and do your horse's feet. And what I mean by that is they come and they do a trim, sometimes they reset some shoes, sometimes they put on shoes, and sometimes there is some corrective shoeing that needs to be done if there's something going on with your horse's feet. So my dad is actually our farrier. He is really, really good at doing all of our polo ponies' feet. So Libby is actually barefoot right now because we always have her barefoot throughout the winter. But today she's going to be getting some front shoes on because we hope to actually be playing outside polo pretty soon. And some shoes are just gonna help give her front feet a little bit more traction when she's out on the field. Miss Canada has some shoes and she needs to get her fronts reset. Uh, she has shoes because she has really flat feet. Um, and if she was barefoot, then she would basically be walking on her frog and on, on the sole of her foot all the time. So we keep shoes on her, just to keep her a little bit more comfortable. But yes, I actually have to go and catch the girls um, because it is about to rain and thunderstorm actually. So I have to turn all the horses inside really quick um, as well as get all my dad's stuff laid out. So I'm gonna go get started on all of that. Look who came down for a little visit. Hi, Chucker. Hello. Hello. Look at you, little Miss Cutie. You taking a nap? Oh, hello. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> now I have to go catch Missy, but uh, she needs. Ooh. She needs a little bit of encouragement to come inside. You're all alone, Miss Canada. Are you gonna run away or are you gonna be good? It's raining, so I don't really wanna, I don't really wanna be outside chasing you for too long. Hi, chub lady. Ready to come inside? You're getting your feet done today. Let me put your halter on all the way. Clearly, somebody wants to come inside because she's letting me catch her today. Well, let's go. Because I don't know about you, but I don't like standing in the rain. Come on, chub lady. So Missy is feeling a lot better right now too. She's um, allowed to start going into bigger paddocks and stuff is according to Matt. So um, she's been going out into a big paddock. She's been on grass and um, I've actually started working her back up. So I've been just walking her around the arena bareback lately. Um, she's up to about five or I think seven minutes of trot now. So yeah, I've been slowly working her back into exercise. Uh, and she's definitely feeling a lot better. I really like giving them dandelions, so let's grab two dandelions for the two ladies. Come on, let's go inside. Did you guys not get the memo that it's raining? Ugh. No fighting. Oh, good girl. Want a dandelion? Oh, just one. Good girl. Ophelia, we have to go inside. Come on. If only you hadn't tried to kick her, we wouldn't have to walk all the way back to the back corner of the paddock. Come here, oh. I'm very excited because in the summertime and spring, this whole paddock here has a whole bunch of flowers similar to this, and it's very, very pretty, and they've started popping up, and it's super cute. Hey, oh. Good girl. Here you go. All right, ladies, let's go inside. 
Okay, so my dad just got down to the barn. I'm going to take all of his farrier stuff over to the wash stall now so that uh, we can get started on doing some feet. Who do you want to start with? That Libby, please. Okay. Okay, so I just finished laying out all of my dad's stuff to start doing some feet. He actually wants to start off with Libby, so I'm going to get her right now. All right, Libby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to stay. Blech, I can't speak. I'm sorry to take you away from your snacks, but you got to get your feet, your feet all trimmed up. I'm gonna do up the throat latch so that you can't escape like you are known to do. All right, come on. going to take you through the arena because the rain is actually starting to get pretty heavy and I don't want my camera to get wet so we're gonna go through the arena Libby where'd this come from? what? I don't know So I figured I would give you guys a little bit of a voiceover for while my dad is doing their feet because it's kind of confusing a little bit on what he's actually doing. And before we start, no, this actually doesn't hurt the horse's feet. Uh, that's a very common question over on TikTok whenever I post anything about farrier work. The horse's feet are actually made out of what is called keratin, which is the same material that our nails and our hair is made out of. And it doesn't hurt them as long as you don't go too deep and you don't mess around with the frog, which is the triangle part in the middle of their foot. So basically what my dad is right now doing is he is taking off all of the overgrown foot that has grown out over the last six weeks. Once he goes through and trims and cuts away all of the extra pieces, he goes in with a rasp to actually file down and make everything really smooth and flat. For some horses, this is all he does, and he just moves on to the next foot after reshaping it a little bit. But today he is actually going to be prepping her for a shoe. After lining up the shoe to her foot, he goes over to his anvil because sometimes he has to slightly change the foot, whether it's how close the heel is or how round the shoe itself is. After he changes the shape of the shoe a little bit to better suit to Libby's foot, he goes back over and he actually hammers the shoe onto her foot using a couple of special nails that are meant for farrier work. And then after all the nails are in, he goes through and he snips off the little extra part and cinches them down. Afterwards, he goes back in with his rasp and he finishes shaping Libby's foot down to how it is supposed to be for her. Jesus, that thing's close. My camera or my phone? Should be a hand model. <laughs> Once Libby was all done getting her feet all trimmed up, I then brought Miss Canada over for her to get her shoes reset.
So this particular shoeing, Miss Canada, instead of getting her shoes reset and put back on, she actually got a new pair. So on the left is her pair that she had been wearing for the last two shoeings, I think, maybe one shoeing. Um, and then on the right is a brand new shoe. How often my dad puts a brand new shoe on a horse really depends on how the horse walks and how the shoe is looking. So you can see on Miss Canada's, the toe of her shoe is way worn down compared to the brand new shoe. What? Bah, every time I turn around, the camera's in my face. I can put it in your face if you want. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. It was a lot of fun bringing you through the whole farrier experience with my two ponies today. And I hope that you guys learned a little something as well. So this week's question of the week is going to be, does your horse wear shoes? And if they do, why do they wear shoes? So Libby is barefoot in the winter time. Savannah, Miss Canada, and Ophelia all wear shoes so far year round. Savannah and Miss Canada both have really sensitive soles. Uh, so they need to wear shoes year round. Otherwise they get really, really ouchy on all the gravel and stuff that we have. But yeah, I would love to hear you guys' answer down in the comments below. If you guys did like today's video, you can and like and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. If you want to check out my other socials like TikTok and Instagram, I'll have those on screen as well as linked down in the description box below. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you later.